Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to do a modern 90s inspired makeup look. I was about 11 years old and I remember the makeup look that people around me would wear and I would try to pull off the very dark lip liner with a very light and shimmery lipstick. It just didn't work. There were a few makeup brands that were very like en vogue. Miss Sporty, does it ring a bell to anybody in here? And Maybelline and Bourgeois. I'm having a lot of memories thinking about the 90s. Even if, you know, I was only a child and I was not allowed to apply makeup on myself, but I would still play around, you know, with makeup as a kid. And for the longest time, I thought that makeup would just not look good on me. I am now a makeup artist and I can literally play with whatever period of time I want, whatever makeup trend I want. And I can't believe I haven't been playing with the 90s yet. So here's the makeup look. I'm going to stop talking and let's get into it. There was a lot going on on my head. I was supposed to have my hair done by my good friend, uh, hairstylist, Ciara, but something came up last minute and she couldn't come. So I had to handle this by myself. This is all I could do, okay? Because even if you do a makeup look, if there's no hair going on, I think it's not the same. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm starting with this Omorovica lip balm. This is called Perfecting Lip Balm. Taking with this little spatula. I've done all my skin preparation for this look. I spent a good hour in the bathroom doing my hair and my skincare. I want to know all the mummies out there. Do you still have time to shower? Because I heard people saying like, you don't even have time to shower after you have a baby. Is that true? It's hard for me to believe, especially if you're like having a partner. Look for the baby five minutes, I'm gonna go have a shower. Maybe I just don't know. I'll use a soft blurring primer from Shiseido. I want the skin to be not too dewy, more towards the matte vibe because in the 90s, <clears throat> they were not using highlighters and the foundations were pretty matte. Mm, love this primer. So it makes your skin incredibly velvety and it works amazing under foundation, especially if you have normal combination, oily skin. Then the foundation just has a grip after this, you know? The foundation I'm going to be using is this Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. This is an oil free foundation from Shiseido and it goes great with the primer. You'll see in a second, the skin looks like... This is a Refer P24 brush. I've been washing all of my brushes, you guys, and uh, I don't have a lot of clean brushes left. This is like a perfect match with my hands and my neck, but... Um, it is a bit darker than the face. This has such amazing coverage and it's more towards the soft matte finish. It's really, really beautiful. I'm gonna apply it on the half of the face just so you see the difference with my left side. So this is with foundation, a very, very thin layer. As you saw, I stretched it really well. And this is without. You see how it covered like the little, I have very little uh, pigmentation in here. Pat McGrath Labs Concealer Sublime Perfection. Concealer in light medium nine. And this has a lot of coverage. So a little goes a long way. I'm just afraid it might be a bit too light. No. I'm going to use this to also highlight. This is a Sephora 57 brush. And as you saw, a few dots. 
of that concealer, if you stretch them really well, they're enough for the whole under eye area. What's left on the brush, I get it on the bra bone. With the foundation brush, I dab it where the concealer and foundation meets, just so that the application looks flawless. I'll be using Makeup by Mario Contour with the Refer 04 brush. And you guys know I love to take this product onto the brush. I just find that it's just easier for me. Some people prefer to apply it directly on the skin. And I'm doing a little shading, a little warming up the skin and shading in the same time. A little bit right here on the jawline. My face is losing shape and starting to look more like a moon. <laughs> and then I'll do a little bit on the side of the forehead. Now I'm going to contour the nose. So this is a concealer brush from Giorgio Armani. But we're going to use it to shade a little bit the nose as well. And I make it a little bit less obvious. This is, a, this is too much. Okay. And then I'll use this brightening pen from YSL. This is the Touche Cla. Just to give the nose the impression that's a little bit more slim right here. And this trick always works. So applying a little line on the center with something that's a bit lighter. I'm gonna take this Misa uh, number six brush from the Puro collection and this Makeup by Mario blush stick in Dusty Rose. I love to mix powders and creams, especially for a look that is about to be photographed. And you don't have, like, I don't need to apply a lot. I will apply powder after this for sure. There wasn't much blush going on in the 90s, that's for sure. Under my eyes, I'll be applying this under eye powder from Pat McGrath. This was, uh, this was missing for a while, but we have it back. Okay, first I gotta make sure the concealer didn't crease. And what this powder does, it brightens the under eyes but also it works so, so great with the concealer. Like, unbelievable. It's not the type of powder that you could apply it all over the face, though. And then for the rest of my face, I will actually use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'll be mixing these two colors. This is number one and number two. Number one, I'll take it with this Hakuhodo Kokutan brush and apply it on the middle of the face, like so. And then number two, I'll take it with the same brush and get it more in this area setting my cream contour and I'll also use a touch on the forehead okay we're gonna move on with the eyes and first I like to brush my eyebrows through just to get rid of any product that I might have this is a la bouche rouge spoolie and for my eyebrows I'll be using this Gucci eyebrow pencil
I'm going to do some light strokes of hair. Am I Brooke Shields yet? <laughs> uh, just to give it that 3D effect. Mm -hmm. You know what? I love a strong brow. Really, really love a strong brow. And I'm going to use this brow gel. Looks like this from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a clear brow gel. Now I'll use this Makeup by Mario pencil in between the lashes and also at the base of the lashes. This is so creamy, you guys. You have to make sure to apply this in between the lashes and not so much on the waterline, on the upper waterline, because then it will print right here. And probably that's what's going to happen with me because normally I need my hand to keep my eye like this to do it, but I have to hold my mirror at the base of the lashes. This pencil is so creamy. I just received the black one and the dark brown one. You guys, it's just so black. Okay, here I have to be honest with myself. I constantly am like this in videos and pictures. That's the reality. Okay, I got used with it that I don't even realize that I'm doing it. But the truth is my normal face is like this. So you have to do that flick when you have your eyes relaxed. Because at some point in the day, you're not going to be, you're not going to be like this, right? Should we try using this little brush at the back? Of the pencil let's see if this is working it is it really is working okay I've switched it with a pencil brush and basically what I did is just taking a little bit of this product. This is so creamy. So, so creamy. And it gives you time to blend it, which is wonderful. So it does not set right away. At some point, it will set and you will not be able to move this product. It's really nice. I'm going to keep on adding black at the base of the lashes because... I feel like it became a bit gray from the blending. Next, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette. This is from Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in 27 Mink Mirage. I love this. Love it. If you love matte, neutral eyeshadows, this is it. It's not too warm, you know? That's like, this is what I love about it. It's not very very warm so the first color I'm gonna take is going to be the darkest one I can call this black this is not black it's more like a dark very dark gray miso 017 brush and just get on top of the black I love a black eyeliner but whenever I apply pencil and then I come with eyeshadow on top there is something so beautiful and velvety and elegant um, that I personally love about this then with this other brush Misa 5 from the Pura collection I'll take the brown the darker brown Get it on top. Ooh, 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 that's a lot of pigment right there. Wanted to make it more oh, smoky. Wow, that's. I did not expect this tone for it. And here at the at the end of the eye. 
is where I, I will apply most of this uh, brown. Give it a little triangle right here. This brown is so good. With the same brush, same brown, we just get it in the inner corner like so. This is the perfect brown. Where have you been? Keep on adding eyeshadow at the end. And I'm taking this big brush from Refer. This is number 16 just to blend the edges. Then with the same brush, I'll take this color right here, get it on top, just to soften it a bit. And all over the eyelid. I'll take the lightest color. I'm going to take the darkest color this is like a 90s meet 60s <laughs> I'm going to apply this mascara from Gucci this is mascara l'obscur Let's do the lips and I'll take the the balm off. I actually really love this balm. Can you tell how super nourished the lips are? Endless Cacao Pencil from Makeup Forever. You guys, I remember that when I was about 10, 11 years old, my cousin, Gabriella, she would wear this exact same lip liner and then she would use a lipstick that was very, very light. And in contrast with that super dark lip liner, I thought it was the most beautiful thing <laughs> ever, but she was blonde, like blue eyes she's got like the husky eyes you know and it just looked so beautiful on her i tried it so many times on me and i hated it and i was like why why doesn't it look good on me and i remember she had the same lip liner like she would buy over and over again until it would get like this small let's let's do a little bit of staycation you know what staycation seems like it's the right one Except that back in the days, we did not have lipsticks that were this matte. Absolutely not. Let's apply this one from NARS on top. Yeah, this is better. I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer. It's been a long time since I haven't used it. But I think the color would be right for this. Okay, so we decided that we we're going to do a modern 90s makeup look and back in the days they would do everything matte but we're gonna add a little bit of highlighter and I want to use this Becca one it's completely broken uh, I need to fix it I know how to fix it I've seen the videos on YouTube you know YouTube best thing in the world so I'm gonna apply just a tiny little bit of this highlighter Keeping my brush from the very end so that I don't have a lot of pressure on it. Like so. 
like that's it okay guys so we know that this is the makeup look but what's going on with this hair i'm gonna take all the clips off if i can Ooh, that's curly might be a little bit too curly let me know if you want to see a video on how i've created the hair no you don't um i like this sucks it's not like this is not good A lot of clips. Cindy Crawford, who? What do we think? Although I'm pretty sure that the part was somewhere on the side and not in the middle. However, I don't like the way I look with the part on the side anymore. All right, guys, this is my modern 90s inspired makeup look. I had so much fun creating this. If you try it, please tag me. I'd love to see your looks. And if I would have to pick one product from everything that I've used, obviously it would be the eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is so incredibly beautiful. Uh, I mean, yes, it is expensive, but this is something that you could use every day. I am going to do another look, a more like a softer look with this, just to show you how you can use it every day right now if you enjoyed this makeup look please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on my instagram if you're not there already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye i keep on adding Avi. wow wow like really she was the icon of the 90s there's nobody like her what do you know Oh. oh, oh, okay, we're doing this.